My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Shadow Mare. We're not far from the location. And who is this that's approaching me? Living outside the walls is a risk, aye. But at least the guards don't come nosing around. At least. All right, then. All right, Shadow Mayor, let's see what we're about. Well, look, they're the guards now. So much for them not nosing around. All right. I have spoken with the spirit of Arquin, and she has informed me that the child of Lachance may yet live. The family name is Amatius, and I am headed up to the house now to see if I can speak with the descendant of Lachance. I have no idea what to expect, and I'm unsure how I will be received. Learning from Arquin's fate, I am prepared for anything. But I have to wonder, could someone so far removed in time from La Chance really be worthy to bear the name of the Brotherhood? All right, let's ride. And I did take the opportunity to change my clothing that tight. Dark Brotherhood gear was just, I don't know, almost embarrassing to wear. Let's go, Shadow Mayor, let's go. I don't know how these people you know, can be comfortable with themselves wearing such tight clothing. But I suppose it does help with stealth. But that's not really what I'm concerned about. Killing is the most important thing. And having comfortable, loose-fitting clothing and armor, that's what I'm concerned about the most. And besides, I think this outfit makes me look a little bit intimidating. <laughs> But I try to keep with the spirit of the Dark Brotherhood in choosing this outfit. All right, this home is nearby. Careful, Shadowmere. Well, it would seem that this is the place. Yes, according to the sign, it's the Amatius Manor. All right, I think a bit of an illusion might be in order. There we are. Oh, I'm bra 
breaking in, am I? I thought the door might be open. I don't know. I thought maybe I'd be expected. Shouldn't I have been given a key? sure if it came from upstairs or down. I suppose I can search the entire premises. Upstairs seems clear. So it must be in the basement where all crimes take place. Yes, of course, look. Corpses. And who is this woman standing over them? Seriously, child, you would dare threaten me. You should calm down and tell me what happened here. They... they tried to rape me. What? As they tore my clothes, I heard them say that they were going to kill me when they were done. You took on three hold guards by yourself. Yes. It was as if something dark awoke inside me. I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, you're saying it. Tell me. What is your name? Vela. Vela Amatius. Amatius? Who exactly are you, by the way? Surely you're not just a good citizen who came running when he heard the screams of a fair maiden. I mean, these stone walls don't exactly let out a lot of sound. <laughs> no. No, they don't. I'm here for you. I represent the Dark Brotherhood. Are you here to kill me? That didn't work out too well for these guys. Well, I can assure you I will have no problem carrying it out, if that was my intent. Against an army, you may stand a chance. But against me, you have none. So, maybe... I'm here to kill you, but it depends on how you answer my questions. I just killed three well-armed men. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> you still haven't answered my question. Why are you here? You forgot the other part of the equation. I am not scared of you. I'm sure you're just trying to come up with a convincing lie. Oh, it'll be a good one, I can tell. Well, I'm going to need to clean this up. I don't suppose you people have some kind of body removal service? That would be useful right about now. We do have one. So, unless you're going to help me or kill me, you need to leave. You haven't thought this through, have you? Come again? 
you just butchered three men like pigs. And I'm... The hunger is starting to overtake me, the blood. But what happens when someone finds out? I'll just explain what happened to the Jarl. Will They'll you? understand. Will she? Do you really think it will get to that point? I'm not following. <laughs> of course you're not. Once the other guards find out, they'll kill you. There won't be just three. You really think they would just kill me? Yes. Not so much as a trial? There's no way that they would... Damn, I suppose if there are three of them, there could be more corrupt guards. What can I do? You could run. Run where? Where in Skyrim? Where in Tamriel will I be safe if they decide to look for me? I can offer you an escape from that fate. A chance to begin anew. And do what? Join you? Is that what you're asking me to do? Join the Dark Brotherhood? <laughs> I would watch your voice raising it octaves like that could prove fatal. What do you know about the Brotherhood? Tell me everything you've heard. Well, when I was a kid, I always feared that one of the other kids in school would perform the Black Sacrament on me. <laughs> My mom assured me that you were just a fairy tale, a myth. But then, there was a wedding here, a little while back for Vittoria Vici. Yes, I'm sorry she I missed it. Right in front of everyone. Right at her own wedding. People began to whisper that it was the Brotherhood. But no one believed. Especially when the Emperor's bodyguards claimed they had killed you all. But then, the Emperor himself was assassinated. And everyone just knew it was you. That can't all possibly be true, can it? <laughs> you amuse me, Amatius. It is true. All of it. By the eight. You can join our family. Or you can be left here to die. It's your decision. Family? You guys aren't some kind of crazed religious cult, are you? Hmm. Crazed, perhaps. Come, we have much to discuss. We should head out of town before... Before the guards notice that three of their own are missing? Yeah, I got it. All right. Well, I'm not going to hide what I am from you. Any longer. Ugh, I needed that. And that isn't enough. I need more. satisfied. <laughs> but when am I ever satisfied? Hmm, <laughs> and who killed this wolf? This is odd. Why would you have a a pet wolf here? All right. Anyhow, Amadeus, let's go. And by the way, what you just saw. Me feeding on those guards. I compel you to forget. <laughs>
This is also frightening. What I did was terrible. Feeling about it. Oh, come on, you'll the get used to it. You'll be all right, Amadeus. I can assure you. It only gets easier the more you kill. All right, so. It's time for us to return to the Dawnstar Sanctuary. All right, Amatius. My instructions are to guide you to the Sanctuary. And it looks like it's over here that you need to be guided. Wait, what's this? hidden entrance that I didn't even know about. Well, this must be where it comes out through the, gra the glass relief of Sithis. All right, let's go. And here we are. Yes. And here it is. All right, so now I know where that secret entrance leads. Nazir, I hope all is well. I've brought a visitor. The Dark Brotherhood is on the rise again, listener. I can feel it. Yes, as can we all. We may have to do something about all that moaning in there. Is that your voice I'm hearing? All right. Just my head Vala. I hope you weren't thinking of leaving. Although you are free to go, it might be a bit premature for you to depart. There's a bedroll prepared for you just inside. Why don't you take a rest? Okay. All right, then. Is there a bedroll over here? Oh, there is. Okay. Is there singing in the void? Dancing? Surely the dread lord will at least... So, All right, you have so found the child of Lachance. You will need to train her and shape her into the assassin she was born to be. I can see the hatred in her veins. The same hatred that Lachance had. She will become powerful under your guidance. While she rests, take our other initiates on their first missions. They grow restless. Nazir has been keeping them occupied. Take Undale to Windhelm, and speak with the worried brother. And then take the twins to Morthal, and speak with the proud noble. Additionally, we must also reform the Black Hand. It is up to you to appoint speakers. Go with our Treadfather, listener. As you command, Mother. All right, Cicero, you can continue your chattering. <clears throat> Cicero is at your service, <laughs> oh great and powerful listener. All right. Well, she didn't sleep for very long. Babette? Hello, listener. It would be my honor to name you as a speaker of the Black Hand. It would be my honor to accept, listener. Very nice outfit. I hope everything is all right. 
You can just ask Nazir or Babette if you need anything. Nazir. So many contracts, so little time. It would be my honor to name you as a speaker of the Black Hand. I am honored, listener. <laughs> All right. It's some robe you've got there. You look like a warlock now. Well, things are coming along fine. Who else, who else do I need to speak with? There were only two speakers. Ah, the twins. Or Undil, all right. So I think we will be speaking with Undil and then headed to Windhelm.